What's going on everyone? It's Taylor Cowles here for CLNS Media. Coach Bill Belichick noted before practice that this is essentially an extension of OTAs where the Patriots weren't able to work on red zone work. And that played out today as the Patriots continued to work in shorts and a t-shirt and work in the red zone almost exclusively. Now the Patriots offense was up and down in periods that were mostly favoring the defense. When they were in the low red zone early, Mac Jones went 0 for 4, although the Patriots almost always passed to the back pylon and the defense seemed to catch on to that trend pretty quickly. Now the offense did have more success when they backed up into the high red zone, starting that 11 on 11 period with a long touchdown to Devontae Parker with Christian Gonzalez in coverage. Juju Smith-Schuster was also much more involved in the slot today, and he had his own pair of touchdowns, with one coming against Gonzalez at the front of the end zone, and another coming down the seam against Marcus Jones. Now, the offense did have its struggles, as Hunter Henry noted that trust, timing, and chemistry are key when you're working in tight spaces. That showed as some of Mac Jones's passes weren't in the area of his intended receivers, and he threw a pretty bad interception to Kyle Duggar on a rollout where no one seemed to be in the area. That said, it's expected that the offense is going to struggle when they don't have a lot of space to work with and the offense is still working on getting a new system under their belt. The CLNS Media Network is powered by FanDuel. Sign up at FanDuel.com slash Boston and get in on the action with $200 in bonus bets guaranteed. Some other notes on offense were Ty Montgomery getting worked on by trainers on the sideline after colliding with linebacker Therese Hall on a pass that was thrown behind him. We also saw a lot of Demario Douglas, the sixth round rookie, getting work with the top offensive unit in a lot of seven on seven drills. Second year receiver Tyquan Thornton was also expected to be a big part of the Patriots offense, but he currently seems to be the number four receiver behind veterans Devontae Parker, Juju Smith-Schuster, and Kendrick Bourne. Now it's still pretty early on and we'll see if any of that changes, but keep your eye on Demario Douglas as he brings a lot of juice and speed to the offense where a lot of the other players at the position are more possession guys who win with size and strong hands. For full Patriots training camp coverage, make sure you subscribe to our Patriots Press Pass YouTube channel. And for all of our written work, make sure to check out our website, clnsmedia.com.